What's going on, Ghost Squad? Trey here with Ghost Tactical to do a 2,000 round review of the Walther PPQ subcompact. Before we get going, it is clear, so you don't have to worry about that. What we did is we spent the last few months doing a bunch of shooting with this, taking it to the range, doing some training with it, practicing, running a lot of different types of ammunition, whether it's kind of the cheaper stock range ammo to custom high-end ammo to hollow point to some polymer tipped ammo all sorts of stuff we've run through this we finally reached the 2000 round mark and we kind of want to go through it real quick and and tell you how it, it held up or did it hold up so what we're going to do is we're going to start going through what we did with the testing and go from there okay guys like i said with the testing that we did, we really put this thing through the gamut. We wanted to push it as hard as we could. We went through different brands, different styles, and different types of ammo to make sure that, one, it could cycle anything that's put through it, and two, how does it hold up with different types of ammunition? We put 2,000 rounds in this thing, and it held up so far so good. Now, the cool thing about this is we made sure that we didn't clean it throughout this entire process. We wanted to see how long it could go without being cleaned and would it hold up after 2,000 rounds without a cleaning. A lot of people out there don't clean their guns very often. I personally clean them after every time I shoot them, but throughout this odyssey of the Walther PPQ subcompact testing, we did not clean it while we went through 2,000 rounds. So I was really pleased. And what we're going to do is we're going to break it down real quick and uh, look at the inside. All right, guys, well, breaking this gun down for cleaning or everyday maintenance is very, very simple. First, we start by getting rid of the magazine. And right above the trigger, right in front of the slide lock release lever, there is a little tab right here that you're going to pull down. So we're going to start out just by locking the slide to the rear, pulling this down, releasing the slide, pull the trigger, and off it comes. It's that simple. So once we get in here, you can tell that it's been shot quite a bit. It's got a little dirt and grime to it, but nothing that's crazy. Let's take the spring out. And, and yeah, I've got some dirt on my hands and all that. Obviously, it hasn't been cleaned in 2,000 rounds, so it's uh, it's going to be a little bit dirty. We're going to take the, the barrel out here and, and show you the barrel. And if you can see through there, everything is it has got a little bit of dirt and grime and some build up carbon build up and all that but it's it's all good after 2000 rounds that's going to happen but overall everything checks out uh let's check inside a slide everything is in tip top shape after 2000 rounds aside from just having to get a little cleaning in there it's all held up great now in our previous video we did discuss about the magazine options i carry the 15 plus one but mine came with two different 10 round magazines as well it came with the standard 10 round magazine and then also the 10 round magazine with the pinky extension. So I choose to personally carry the 15 plus one. If you're gonna do it, then do it right. What I love about this is with this extension right here, it does give you basically the full size PPQ grip, but it's gonna give you the shorter slide and shorter frame and all of that. It is very easy to conceal. Uh, even with the grip extension, I have had zero problems with printing, so I'm not really worried about that. If you are worried about printing, you don't have to worry about it. If you don't necessarily wanna carry the 15 round mag, then the 10 round mag is gonna be great. So but I choose to carry the 15 round mag and I've had zero problems with printing. It's very, very comfortable. It's very, very slender here and I love the feel of it inside the holster. So it's, it's a great carry gun. I've thoroughly enjoyed it and it's done something that I never thought was gonna happen. It took the place of my MMP shield, which is kind of my baby and I've carried that for years and this kind of took the place of it. So I'm not saying that the shield is completely out of lineup. It's just going to be maybe the second string instead of the starter right now. But uh, this thing right here has been a joy to carry. So I tested a little bit with a buddy of mine's full-size PPQ 15-round mag. I took the sleeve off of this and used it, and it worked just fine. But what I will say is this. If you're going to use a 15-round magazine, please make sure that you use this the sleeve that comes with it. The reason why is, is if you don't, you could overseat the magazine, and that could really kind of cause some damage inside the mechanics of the extractor or the firing pin or whatever. There are some issues that any gun's gonna have if, if it's seated improperly. So make sure that you're gonna use this 
they say that to please use the subcompact magazine because the spring is a little bit different than in the full size. I personally didn't have any problems with cycling or anything, even with the full size PPQ 15 round magazine. So I didn't have any problems with it, but I'm sure that's something they want you to be aware of that if you're using another PPQ magazine, the full size edition, maybe be careful. It could you know have some issues because of the different springs, but uh, I didn't have any issues with it. This is the magazine that came with this gun this is not a full-size ppq but i really uh, i had no issues cycling anything we talked earlier in the previous videos about this trigger and i am telling you right now this trigger for me out of the box is by far the best trigger i have ever shot after 2000 rounds it still feels just as good as it did on shot number one we're talking about a trigger that is very lightweight in the pool there is some take up which is good You've got the trigger safety right here, but on the take up, there is a little bit of take up. Not bad, but when you pull it, it feels so good. Now watch this. The reset is a tenth of an inch. Here we go. And you're in. You're back in the game to fire that one more time. That reset is just beautiful. So yeah, this is one of those that um, I love it. The magazine goes in and out very quickly. It's one of those that it, it's push the button, it pops out, goes in, pops out. Magazine, even the 10 round magazines are great. Like I said, I spend most of my time with this 15 rounder because this is what I carry every day. So when I'm practicing, I'm going to practice with this 15 rounder. Uh, I train with this gun. I've practiced extensively with this gun. I've shot many types of rounds with this gun. And after 2,000 rounds, I can honestly say that uh, this is one of the best guns I've ever owned. The grip that we talked about has some uh, texturing to it. It feels really good in the hand. It's not overly aggressive. It's not gonna cut your hand. More importantly, it's not gonna catch on your clothing in a concealed carry scenario. So when you're drawing, it won't catch on your clothing, which is obviously something nice to have. Like I said, if you wanna add some different stippling or add some, you know, whatever you want, grip tape or whatever, you can, but out of the box, it's pretty good. And it comes with different, uh, back straps and all that to make sure that you it fits your hand properly but like i said guys for for the money i can't picture another gun that is going to give you more it can be used as a race gun as well if you like to shoot competitively this thing can go uh, you don't have to worry about you know if you're going to do a bug or idpa you're going to go with the ccp division not a problem this thing will run with anything uh, the CCP division and IDPA is typically called the Glock 19 division. It might be called the Walther PPQ subcompact division by now. Uh, like I said, I would have no problem running this in a competition. And it can be a little race gun if you'd like to. So uh, that's another option for you as well. So guys, if you're out there and you're looking for another concealed carry gun, this right here through 2,000 rounds, I had zero issues. I shouldn't say that. I had one issue. I had one issue on the original day. It was probably about the eighth round that I put through it, but it ended up being a squib, so it was not the gun's fault. That was an ammunition fault, um, and you guys have seen the video. If you haven't, it's right up here, so you can check it out, but um, the squib was the only time that I ever had any cycling issues or m failure to feed or failure to extract anything. I had zero failures with this gun besides a squib and that wasn't the gun's fault so i cannot stress how impressed i am with this gun and i want to say thank you to walther and cody i appreciate you guys very much and guys go check this out if you haven't yet make sure that this is definitely on your to-do list when you go to the gun store go look at it and i promise you when you pull that trigger you're going to be buying this thing and it is a great gun and it's for everyone man woman child Anyone that's wanting to uh, really up their game for concealed carry or just to have a really good race gun or have a really good gun to have in the truck or whatever, this right here is definitely worth it. My favorite gun right now, and it is number one in the lineup for concealed carry. Well, guys, if you're interested in, in seeing some videos on the full-size PPQ 5-inch or the Q5 match, check some videos out over here. Clovertech's done a really good job on some videos with the PPQ full-size five-incher and mike from mw tactical has really run the gamut with the q5 match so go check these videos out well guys thanks for watching i hope this really helped until next time train often 
train safely, and be a warrior. Simplify.